Good morning everyone, it is day four. I am sitting at the end of my street because I have to run an errand for grandma so I didn't want to really vlog in her driveway. But I did get to, I think chapter 11 in Megan Mead last night so that's a good success. And then that's about it. I have to run an errand, I have to get lunch, and then I have class at 12.30. It is currently 10.30, so we're getting a good start to the day. The only problem is that Sam is making me go to the gym at 4.30. So, I might convince her to let me vlog. We'll see. Okay. That's your update for this morning. Bye. Hello, everyone. So, it is just after two, I just got home from school. So I usually schedule two to four on Tuesdays to do my online class that I have through the community college around here. I'm getting like really bad shadow. So I am going to work on that. I did get almost finished with Shame on Him. I am, I think like 30 minutes left in my audiobook. So almost done with my second book excited and then I got another chapter or so in Megan Mead I think I'm on chapter 12 maybe 13 not quite sure but now I'm gonna work on my online class so that I get that done because that is important it was a class that I had to take on campus through my school but because they don't offer it online and it was the most boring class of my life. My teacher talked in a monotone Chinese accent and she didn't know half the words she was trying to say. She would spend like 10 minutes high rage trying to figure out what word she wanted to say. So I ended up not doing well because I got bored and I stopped going. Which kids is not a good plan. Always go to class because it doesn't help not to, not to go to class. Though I'm getting really bored with my finance class, so we'll see. But he said it gets harder. So, fingers crossed. Well, I'm gonna go. Please enjoy this time lapse of me doing homework. I'm two assignments down. I have one more assignment for this week. Um, comment if you're liking these like quick little time lapses of me doing homework. I don't know if people like these. I don't know. This is what I'm doing in my day, you know. I don't know. Let me know. In case you're interested in what other YouTube things I'm into or what kind of things I like while I'm doing my last assignment, which doesn't have a video attached to it, so I don't have to worry about that. I am watching the Deligracy live vlog. She is gonna build, I think. I have no idea, but we'll see. And so in case you didn't know, Deligracy is an Australian YouTuber who plays Sims on YouTube. Um, she builds houses and plays Let's Plays and all different other kinds of fun stuff for Sims. Um, I watch her, I watch um, James, which is the Sim Supply. I watch his other video or his other channel too sometimes, uh, Flavaliki. And then I watch some American gamers too. Um, I watch Sully Pones and um, I used to watch Purple Rodri. He calls his fans Purple Banditos, but it's Purple Rodri. And then that's pretty much it. But yeah. Oh, I think it's starting. I hear her typing. Okay, bye. Okay, so I'm not done with my last assignment. I'm having issues with it. It's not wanting to work for me. So I told Sam that we would go at 4.30 to the gym. 
so I'm trying to keep my promise. If I don't show up to the gym at 4.30, she's probably gonna take an Uber to my house and get mad at me and drag me to the gym. So, I'm ready. I'm waiting on Miss Riley. Cause she won't go outside and go potty. But I'm gonna go to the gym. I don't like this. I don't wanna go. So we're done at the gym, and guess what we're doing now? Defeating the purpose of the gym by eating all-you-can-eat pasta. This is a family I can believe in. <laughs> Two is done. So excited. So I finished both shame on you and shame on him. <laughs> so, or no, shame on me and shame on him. Yeah. Can never get these straight, I swear. Okay, so that's two down. I need to finish Megan Mead and Other World. And then I should have all of the challenges completed. And then whatever I read after that is just bonus. <laughs> so we'll see. Super excited that I finished a second book. <laughs> oh, and I wanted to say out of all three of the Fool Me Once books, I liked the second one better, which is Shame on Me. Yeah, shame on me. <laughs> I liked the second one, the one based on Paige. I liked Paige's story, and well, towards the ending, I liked the ending the best. Whereas Kennedy, I like her story, and I think it's cute, but it's kind of more the cutesy romance. And then um, Lorelai, I'm sorry, I'm taking down my hair. Lorelai, I liked her story, but... I just, Paige's story just at times made me actually like laugh out loud. It was really funny, especially the ending. Um, I'm not going to do any spoilers, but they kind of pick up at the end of each one of the other ones, but um, they all have their own story. So, but I definitely liked Paige's the best. I just, the, the humor in Paige's was more funny to me than the other two. There was humor in the other two, but pages truly just made me laugh. In case you're wondering. Okay, so it is currently 10 o'clock. I am at, let me look, I think 71%. Yeah, 71%, if you can read that. I don't know if you can read that. Chapter 14 of Megan Mead, so getting through that um I figured out that I do need to read one Nancy Drew book because technically Nancy Drew is counting as my mentioned in other things but instead of reading Nancy Drew in the Hidden Staircase what I'm gonna do is I found on Hoopla Nancy Drew Strangers on on a Train which is a more modernized Nancy Drew. I don't know if you know, but the it's like the Nancy Drew Diaries. It's the newest series of Nancy Drews. I think they were only published in the last like 10 years. I know in the first one she used a laptop. Um, I did look at my thing and it, and so to finish all of the requirements, we have one, read the group book, Otherworld. Two, read a sequel, Shame on Me or Nancy Drew. Three, read a book you've never heard before, Otherworld. Four, read a book that has mental illness, Megan Mead. Five, read a book that is mentioned in other media, Nancy Drew. Six, read a book under 200 pages, Shame on Him. And seven, read a backlist title, anything other than Otherworld. I will have all seven challenges done if I finish Megan Mead, finish Nancy Drew, and then finish Otherworld. So, we're doing great. We have one, two challenges, possibly three challenges, however you want to put my backlist title. Three challenges completed so far. So, we're doing good. Okay, I am in my 
dining room because it's really the only light that's on pretty much in my entire house because it's after 11.30 and the lights in my living room go off at 11.30. If you see that behind me, that's my paddle from my little, from Omega Phi Alpha. I'm absolutely in love with it and it's so cute. <laughs> if you see this, this is my letters for Gamma Phi Beta made by Sam. So, um, an update on how I'm doing. I am at chapter 14 with Megan Mead, and so there's only 18 chapters, so I'm literally almost done. But I started Strangers on a Train, Nancy Drew Diaries, in the shower, because I have a little speaker shower. And so I got 15 minutes into that, not very far, but I know that I'm going to knock that out real quick, because it's only like three hours long. And then what I'm going to do, once I finish Megan Mead, I'm going to focus solely on Otherworld unless I am walking to class or driving. Basically, if I cannot read a physical book, that is only when I'm going to listen to audiobooks. But any other time that I'm reading, I will be focusing on Otherworld. I need to knock that out. <laughs> Um, the problem is I'm just not really into the book just yet, but I'm only a chapter in. So I know other people have expressed that it is a little bit slow to get into. It's not the capture that you would find sometimes that I like in a book. I like to be sucked in immediately. So I am going to focus on Otherworld. What is probably going to happen if I still am not into it by Thursday, I do have an Audible credit that I will use for Otherworld. I'm not a huge fan of Audible. For me, I just don't understand why $14.95 only gets me one book a month. I... Like, I have Kindle Unlimited, so Kindle Unlimited is a full library of books, and some of them audiobooks as well, to go with the Kindle book for $9.99. Now, I understand that, you know, it can be all books ever made, but if there was a $9.99 Unlimited Audible, I would probably be more interested in Audible. So I probably will not keep the subscription after the trial. Who knows? We'll see. So I can get that done by Saturday. I really want to finish all of the challenges and just want to get them all done. I really kind of am challenging myself for this. Um, the other thing I'm really proud of myself is vlogging every day. I, the biggest reason I have not told a lot of my families and friends about my channel is because I'm afraid this is going to be a phase that I'm not going to end up liking it as much as I think I am and that I'm not going to be consistent after a month or so. So I want to make sure this is a permanent thing. So I really am enjoying myself right now and I'm really glad that I'm getting videos up like I am. So hopefully that will continue and if it does continue for probably about three months, I'll start telling people. I mean, it's not like I'm going to be vlogging all the time. This is something that I'm doing for the biannual Bibliothon. So it's not like they're going to be in my videos at all times. So it's something that I'll slowly start telling people. Another thing I wanted to say is I'm not sure how much reading I'm actually going to get done tomorrow. I can probably guarantee you I'll probably get done with Nancy Drew and I'll probably finish Megan Mead but I don't think I'll make much progress in Otherworld tomorrow because I have two classes. I have one at 10.10 10 to 11 and then I have one at 12.20 to 1.10 and then Grandma has blood work to be done after I get out of class. I think her appointment's actually at 2.30, but by the time I get to back here from campus, it'll be approximately about two, around two, a little bit before two. So 
we'll be able to leave and go get her blood work. Long story short, I did mention in my foster video, if you missed it, that my grandma is sick. Um, she does have stage four cancer. I don't really want to get into it right now. Um, I had a video planned and I might still make said video. It has to do with the, um, the Summer I Turned Pretty series and why I haven't finished that series. So it is still book related, but it's more of a personal video that I just haven't had a chance to film. I do want to gather all my thoughts. I was making a clip in this vlog that was going to address that, but then as I'm watching the timer, it was getting to be 15, 20 minutes long, and this vlog is already at like seven minutes without this clip. So it's something that will be its own separate video. So just look out for that. But other than that, I think I'm looking good for meeting all the challenges and getting everything done. I have entered, I'm going to enter the one tomorrow, the book aesthetic um, video. So that will be up today as you're seeing this. <laughs> It'll be up on day five. But as you're seeing this, it will probably already be on my channel. So I'm super excited. I hope you guys are super excited and I hope your reading is going well and I hope that you have a great day five. Bye. <laughs>